Well, joining me on the sofa now are Damien Watts and Rosie Grant. Damien is a fire scene investigator. Just, I'm just going to start with you. What does that involve? What do you do? What's the point? Um, that involves two strands of investigating a fire. One is about public safety, making sure that what you have in your house is safe, um, but it's also helping the police investigate crimes and arson and providing evidence for them to prosecute with. Are there lots of incidents of arson? Is this common? It, arson in itself is, is more common than you'd think, oh. um, be it from um, juveniles just setting light to things in the park, to criminality, burning down for insurance purposes, or just um, wanting new things in your house. It happens more than you think. Really? So people will burn things down on purpose so yes. that they can claim on their insurance or something like that? Some people do, and some people use it to cover other crimes. Oh, it all sounds kind of quite <laughs> excited about an dagger. episode of something. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and uh, Rosie, this is something that you're interested in, yeah. because you're not part of the fire service yet, but you're a student, student at Portsmouth and you've been Uni. working with Damien's team, going to kind of scenes where there have been fires. Tell us about why you're doing that. Uh, it was for part of one of my units at uni. I had to take a or like carry out a placement and I managed to get a placement with Hampshire Fire and Rescue. So I did 12 weeks basically shadowing their team. Wow, and um, what's the course that you're doing? Uh, forensics like... and criminology. Oh, sounds very yeah. exciting. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so what was it like kind of going out? To, was it how you imagined? Yeah, it was, but I didn't have really any idea of what it was going to be like. So yeah, it was a great experience. I learned a lot. What kind of things did you encounter? Um, we went to two fire scenes and I did two training days and lots of work with the fire dogs, which is like the thing that I like the most. I want to do my dissertation on. On so. kind of sniffer dogs that work yeah, for the fires? Yeah, for the fires, service. yeah. Oh, I can imagine yeah. that being the best yeah. thing to <laughs> hang out with some yeah. other cute nice dogs. Nice dogs, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and from your point of view, Damien, why, I mean, it seems like, you know, you do some important work there, working, investigating crimes. Isn't it a burden having students tagging along the whole time? They might, you know, upset the crime scene or something. Absolutely not a burden. There are risks involved, um, but we carefully manage those risks. And for me, it's an opportunity to not only invest in the future of our, our young people, um, because they are the future of the fire investigation community, but also do something with local partners like the University of Portsmouth. Um, it's all part of their nationally award-winning um, project working with the police initially um, and now we've come on board as well. And do you often have interns with you? This is the very first time we've done it on a um, an organized basis so Holly and Rosie uh, were the very first ones to come along wow. um, and we've got another student with us this year um, for another couple of weeks and just tonight I've offered Rose the opportunity to come and work with us for a whole year as part of her gap. Yep. Placement. Wow. Yeah, for my uh, placement, yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Sharing Thank the you. news on television. <laughs> <laughs> what do you kind of hope you'll get out of that then? Just an overall experience of everything that goes on there. Obviously, 12 weeks isn't actually that long a time to cover everything. So, you know, just to try everything that I can, experience it all. And what is it that you like about this? Um, it's just different to the normal CSI that we do at uni and um, we have all that basic knowledge but we've never been able to apply it to fire before so it's just something completely different which I just happened to have found really really interesting. Okay so kind of applying things in a practical yeah. way. Yeah that's definitely like I found that so much easier to learn in that way like coming and applying what I learned at uni to helping Damien. Okay. So. And Damien, how, how did you get involved in this? Is it, were you a normal fireman or what happened? Well, I, I, I manage our fire investigations teams, but I've, I've got a background in academic work. I used to okay. go to the university. I've worked there as well. Um, and for me, I've got some very experienced fire officers, some of them 38 years plus of working practically. But having someone like Rosie come in with the latest knowledge and theory and practical skills and being able to apply that in the work we do um, is really important.
And how long does it take? What kind of what kind of things point you towards an arson as opposed to a kind of random fire that was an accident? How do you know? We can tell by in a fire they, they make certain patterns that point us towards where the fire started. Um, there's also um, other little bits of forensic evidence. You know, it could be a a lighter that's been thrown away. Um, it could you know, be something as obvious as a fuel can that's left on the scene of a fire. Um, some arsonists are really clever um, and have ingenious ways of starting a fire. Um, and we, 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 we keep our knowledge up to, to capture those. You know, and some are really um, silly <laughs> and, and think that they can just set light to something with a, a, a match or a lighter and get away with it. Um, but, but the techniques we use and the techniques we're teaching Rosie you know, can catch them all. Wow, I mean, that's incredible stuff. And if there's someone watching that thinks, this, this is for me, I, I'm really interested in this, I kind of want to get into this, perhaps a young person, mm -hmm. what would you recommend them to do? Well, I'd, I'd recommend that they um, look at the, the courses they're doing at college now. Um, if they're really interested, come and talk to us in the fire service. We're always happy to go and talk to schools and colleges about the work we do. Um, and then really go and get advice from universities about what they offer um, and how they can move from a college situation, gain greater knowledge like Rosie has, and then come out into the workplace. Damien, Rosie, thanks so much for coming in. Rosie, congratulations Thank you. again. <laughs> and good luck for the future, Thank both you. of you. Thank you.